hello class 8 how are you all so we have been studying chapter number 8 sales yes uh, last time we studied uh, different parts of the sale yes last time we studied different parts of the sale today we are going to study some more parts okay so before we start let's uh, revise whatever we studied in a previous class because revision is more important okay if we will not revise then we will forget so i hope uh, that uh, you have learned the diagram of animal cell okay so get the there are different organelles present in plant cell in animal cell yes different organelles are present in plant cell and animal cell like cell wall lysosome ribosome chloroplast golgi body nucleus vacuoles endoplasmic reticulum plasma cell membrane yes different different organelles are present okay <coughs> and uh, kids uh, you know that uh, cell wall is present uh, only in the plant cell uh, cell wall is not present in animal cell yes well kids uh, i have shown one more picture as you can see on the screen the picture of animal cell you can draw this picture if you uh, want to draw if you have not drawn if you previous picture in previous class then you can draw this one it is the same this is the animal cell this is the cross section of animal cell you can see uh, cell membrane the outer covering lysosome nucleus nucleolus nuclear membrane <coughs> vacuoles mitochondria golgi body ribosomes smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum cytoplasm centrosome so different different organelles are present as you can see in the picture so kids whatever we studied in previous class first of all we will revise so first of all let's study about uh, cell membrane plasma membrane in previous class we studied about cell membrane yes cell membrane is also known as plasma membrane it is the outer covering which allows it uh, the material to move in and out yes is the outer membrane of cell that controls the entry and exit of the substance according to the requirement of the cell and uh, if we talk about cell wall um, cell wall is present only in plant cell it provides rigidity support protection of the cell and uh, not only it provide uh, rigidity support protection it also gives shape and size yes it also gives shape and size and uh, it is found in fungi also fungi bacteria uh, plants it is just present at the top of plasma membrane means uh, it surround the plasma membrane okay and it's around the cell membrane you can say and uh, cytoplasm what is cytoplasm okay, so cytoplasm is a jelly like substance which is actually it is the portion of protoplasm lying inner uh, to the cell membrane but outside the nuclear membrane okay 
and it comprises of gel like substance yes it is jelly like substance that feels inside the cell yes gel like substance that feels inside the cell or you can say it uh, act as a medium okay and uh, it contains all the organelles as you can see in the picture these are the organelles which are present in the cytoplasm okay and contains hereditary material cytoplasm contains hereditary material and uh, nucleus uh, if we talk about the nucleus as you can see in the picture uh, separated nucleus is separated from cytoplasm by nuclear membrane yes is separated by nuclear membrane from cytoplasm and um, it gives the direction direct all the activities okay and it also contains genetic material like dna chromosome and the outer layer of nucleus is known as nuclear membrane what is nuclear membrane what is nuclear membrane it surround the nucleus nuclear membrane actually surround the nucleus and uh, it nuclear membrane made of two layers yes nuclear membrane made of two layer and uh, its opening allow the material to enter and leave the nucleus chromosome if we talk about the chromosome chromosome structure is just like ladder okay mm, and uh, it is made of uh, chromosomes are made of dna and present in the nucleus chromosomes are responsible for the inheritance of characters yes chromosomes are responsible for inheritance of characters or you can say they are responsible for the gene which transfer from one generation to another generation um, because of these genes we have the same characteristic just like our parents maybe the we have the same face just like our mother or father we can have the same hair color we can have the same eye so these are possible due to chromosome okay i hope you understood now let's study about cell organelles let's move on the next point okay kids so let's talk about the play state let's talk about play state well uh, for your kind information let me tell you play state is present uh, only in uh, plant cell yes plastid is not found in animal cell okay so plastid is actually green in color okay it is green in color and uh, what is present in the plastid in the plastid uh, chloroplast is present and uh, what is present in the chloroplast in the chloroplast chlorophyll is present and you know that what is chlorophyll yes you already know what is chlorophyll you know that chlorophyll is responsible for the green color of plants and leaves yes you know that chlorophyll gives green color chlorophyll is a pigment just you know which provide green color you know why is the color of our blood is red because of a pigment which pigment hemoglobin yes hemoglobin is the pigment which provide the red color to our blood in the same way in the same way at the green color of the plants the reason behind it is chlorophyll yes chlorophyll is the reason behind it and uh, which is present inside the chloroplast chloroplast is the internal part of plant okay and you know chlorophyll is also help to absorb the Uh, sunlight during photosynthesis so it also help in making the preparing the food okay so plastids are large organelles yes remember kids plastids are large organelles okay and uh, characteristic of um, plant cell uh, yes they are responsible for the characteristic of plant cell that's why the color of plants is green so okay the it contains chloroplast which provide green color and manufacture food for plants by the process of photosynthesis yes you know already you know photosynthesis yes photo means light photo means light synthesis means prepare 
you know that uh, um, plants take water from the root and warm carbon dioxide through the leaves and in the presence of chlorophyll with the help of sunlight they make food yes which is stored in the form of starch so i hope you understood about chloroplast well uh, there are different type of plastid like leucoplast is also one more type of plastid okay i hope you understood about plastic okay now we will talk uh, about a uh, something different let's move on the next point okay kids as you can see the picture uh, maybe the picture is not clear maybe but uh, let me tell you that kids what is this actually all these are different types of plastic all these are different type of plastic yes so plastic can be in different uh, plastic there are different types of plastic yes and so as you can see on the screen i have shown different type of plastic uh, etioplast chromoplast chloroplast leucoplast amyloplast elioplast proteinoplast yes these are the uh, type of different plastid and they do the different type of work yes so first picture um, is uh, etioplast so um, it has different function the spelling of etioplast is e t i o p l a s t e t i o p l a s t okay and these actually act as a precursor of chlorophyll and uh, next is uh, chromoplast you can see the red 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 structure can you see the red structure which is actually a chromoplast what is the spelling of chromoplast c h r o m o p l s t chromoplast so what is the function of chrom chromoplast uh, it, its function is to is a pigment synthesis preparing the pigment and storage yes chromoplast prepare the pigment and store and uh, next is chloroplast we have already talked about chloroplast c h l o r o p l a s t chloroplast uh, its function is uh, photosynthesis and uh, lipid synthesis lipid is you can say kind of protein next uh, plastid is leucoplast l e u c o p l a s t leucoplast so what is the function of leucoplast Leuto leucoplast actually Uh, help to synthesis uh, uh, different type kind of uh, uh, acid like amino acid fatty acid which are very essential for us okay so it help to synthesis leucoplast help to synthesis amino acid and fatty acid amino acid fatty acid okay and uh, next is amyloplast a m y l o p l a s t or you can say amyloplast so it what is the function of it its function is storage of starch and sugar yes it store the starch and sugar yes who store the starch and sugar amyloplast you know uh, after photosynthesis st starch is stored in the plants it is stored actually in amyloplast okay and uh, next uh, is uh, elioplast e l a i o p l s t well its function is also to store oils and lipids and you know chloroplast also prepare the uh, lipid which is stored by elioplast and next is proteinoplast well it is the site of uh, protein activity or you get the site of enzyme so these are the different type of plastid okay etioplast precursor of chlorophyll chromoplast pigment synthesis and storage 
chloroplast photosynthesis lipid synthesis leucoplast synthesis of fatty acid and amino acid amyloplast storage of starch and sugar elioplast storage of lipid oil proteinoplast sites of enzyme activity i hope you understood now let's study about the powerhouse yes let's move on the next point okay kids mitochondria so what is mitochondria so kids mitochondria is known as powerhouse of the cell yes okay kids remember mitochondria is known as powerhouse of the cell and uh, as you can see the picture of mitochondria and uh, uh, it is what is the function of mitochondria mitochondria control the level of water and other material in the cell yes it control the level of water and uh, and uh, they are uh, road shaped spherical structure as you can see can you see the road shaped spherical structure yes it is road shaped and spherical or spherical it either road shaped or spherical okay and uh, why do we call it um, um, powerhouse yes because mitochondria is known as powerhouse of the cell why do we call it powerhouse of the cell the reason behind it is um it is responsible for cellular respiration and produce energy for different activity yes why do we call it because it uh, it is a powerhouse why do we call because it control the level of water and other material it produce energy for different activities and uh, that's why it is known as powerhouse of the cell okay remember it produce energy for different activities and control level of water and other material in the cell that's why it is known as powerhouse of the cell and it also help to recycle uh, and decompose the protein yes it help to break down the protein break down the fatty acid and also recycle them and uh, break down the carb bohydrate and also recycle yes that's why it is very important okay well mitochondria is found um, in both plants and animal okay but plastid is present only in plant cell it is not present in animal cell okay but uh, suppose if plastid is present in plant animal cell also then we can also make food through the sunlight okay so remember kids about the mitochondria it is road shaped structure or you can say spherical structure why do we call it powerhouse because it produce energy for different activities and control the level of water and other material in the cell that's why it is known as mitochondria powerhouse and uh, it also recycle the uh, de- recycle and decompose protein carbohydrate and fats now kids uh, let's talk about the next point let's go on the next point okay it's so endoplasmic reticulum and ribosome now let's study these two point so endoplasmic reticulum okay well there are two type of endoplasmic reticulum is present in short we write er er you can also call it there are two type of endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum yes smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum well endoplasmic reticulum is a network of membrane yes it is a means network of membrane means there are many layers of present so what is the function of endoplasmic reticulum well it provides a skeletal framework to the cell yes you know our bones uh help to move in the same way uh, which uh, bones uh, is a frame of our body in the same way uh, it, it provides a framework to the cell and it moves material around in cell yes okay 
and if we talk about the ribosome ribosome are dot like structure as you can see each cell contains thousand uh, um, of ribosome yes there are many many ribosomes are present in one cell my god think think now it's uh, how much smaller they are yes they can they are, each cell have many ribosomes and what is the function of ribosome well ribosome help to make the proteins yes ribosome help in making the protein okay remember it kids ribosome help in the making protein well uh, ribosome is present in both plants and animal okay ribosome is present in both it is also present in plant and it is also present in animal okay and uh, mitochondria is also present in both okay mitochondria is also present in both so where is ribosome present ribosome is present in the cytoplasm and float throughout the cell yes it float uh, because as i said cytoplasm is a jelly like liquid jelly like substance so say ribosome float in the float throughout the cell so i hope you understood what is endoplasmic reticulum yes endoplasmic reticulum uh, is a network of membrane and it is uh, there are two type of endoplasmic reticulum smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum it provides a skeletal framework to the cell moves material around in a cell and if we talk about the ribosome ribosome actually each cell contains thousand of ribosome it helps to make proteins present in cytoplasm and float throughout the cell i hope you understood now let's move on the next point okay it's now let's study about the golgi body or you can say golgi complex okay golgi body golgi golgi okay so what is the shape of golgi body well the shape of golgi body is uh, like sac yes its shape is just like sac okay and uh, golgi body is present in both as plants as well as in cell animal cell so with uh, its structure is just like sac yes sac like structure stacked one above the other yes they are sac like structure so they are placed uh, one on each other they are placed one on each other okay just like coin just like coin they are placed on each other okay and uh, they are um, this golgi body is also known as storehouse of the cell why do we call because it store the material it store the material which are produced by the cell yes it store the material which are produced by the cell like a protein okay so its function is storing the material different different kind of material it helps in storing okay so it was all about the golgi body okay we no need to learn so much about uh, golgi body in next class uh, i will show you different organism also we will also study about uh, uh, euglena paramecia vacuoles okay different different topic we will study in next class now we will meet in next class it's time to ask question from you let's move on the last point okay it's it's time to ask some question from you question number 1 why is mitochondria known as the powerhouse of the cell yes why is mitochondria is known as the power of the cell well mitochondria is known as the power of the of the cell because it is responsible for cellular respiration and produce energy for different activities so it is called powerhouse of the cell apart from this it also help in recycling and decomposing the proteins 
fats and carbohydrates yes okay and uh, if we talk about the shape it is road shape spherical and structure question number 2 question number 2 is which place did provide green color to the sun yes which place did provides green color to the plants so chloroplast is the place did which provide green color to the plant yes chloroplast ch l o r o p l s t chloroplast provides green color to the plastid because it contains chlorophyll which chlorophyll for um, it contains pigment which is chlorophyll okay sorry it contains pigment which calls uh, chlorophyll and it also help with photosynthesis and uh, you know uh, chromoplast is that plastid which form the different kind of pigments yes Okay. and uh, who store amino acid and fatty acid leucoplast has stored the amino acid and fatty acid now well kids uh, you no need to learn all about all these plastid you no need to learn the types of plastid okay you no need to learn the types of plastid you no need to learn about chromoplast leucoplast amyloplast elaioplast protein plus these are not given in your book okay so don't worry you no need to learn okay next question question number 3 write a short note on the following er er means endoplasmic reticulum golgi body and ribosome yes so first of all let's talk about the golgi body so golgi body or you can say golgi complex okay so if we talk about the structure it has sac like structure yes stacked one above the other and uh, store the material produced by the cell yes it helps in storing the material so that's why we can say that uh, it is a storage house yes golgi body is a storage house now next is a uh, ribosome ribosome actually each cell contains many ribosome thousand of ribosome are present they help in making the protein present in the cytoplasm and flow throughout the cell and if we talk about the endoplasmic reticulum uh, it uh, actually it is a network of membranes and uh, it provides a skeletal framework to the cell and <coughs> it helps in moving the material around the cell now <coughs> the remaining part we will study in next class okay till then bye bye